Well, he is lucky to be alive today. The young man who was rescued by first responders came back to thank them. Juan Morales was in a car accident that ended when his vehicle hit a tree late last year. He was pulled out by firefighters and treated by medics on the scene. Denise Douglas joining us now with the incredible story of survival. Denise. Very much so. Um, not many stories kind of bring tears to your mm -hmm. eyes because we've done this so long, right. but this very, very emotional story. In fact, it has a very good ending because the firefighters were in the right place at the right time. And this young man that we're about to introduce you to has fought to stay alive. Nine months after an accident that nearly took his life, Juan Morales meets the men who saved him. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. With words of gratitude and a plaque, he thanks them here at the Laurel Fire Station. Oh, it feels great. I mean, it, it, it's, from the bottom of my heart, I feel really thankful for him to come by and stuff. It was really nice. Firefighters Mike Dugan and Damian Duncan didn't expect him to make it when they saw his car crash. Both were heading into work along Route 198 when it happened. And we saw the car come across the median. Headlights came on to our onbound side and went airborne into the woods. Morales was also on his way to work last October when his car went airborne, landed in a ditch, and ended up against a tree. You can see how bad it was in these pictures here. It's not clear why his car went off the road, but he was trapped and had to be freed. Dugan and Duncan came to the rescue. When we ran down to him initially, we didn't think he had a shot at making it. He was, you know, he's agonal breathing, he had severe head trauma, and he had femur fractures, and the corridor was crushing the legs in. We um, worked pretty fast, and we got him to shock trauma or to the helicopter pretty fast. I mean, no time was the essence. His girlfriend, Laura Carranza, says it's been a painful and emotional road since the accident. He was in a coma for um, a couple of weeks. Um, so it was like he was there, but he wasn't there because he couldn't um, open his eyes, um, no movement. He has slowly gotten better, but the 26-year-old remains in a wheelchair with brain damage, barely able to speak, but again, grateful. I'm so grateful for to have them. You know, we just have to live each moment, um, you know, as if it were the last. Carranza says she, too, has a new appreciation for life, and she's hopeful that despite the setback, their plans to marry will still happen. Um, so hopefully that will come um, with the grace of God next year. And you could probably see in the video there that the entire family was there to support him. So this has been a long road back for this young man, but his family strong behind him. A true testament to love. Mm -hmm. It really warmed my heart. How has this accident impacted their wedding plans? Well, interestingly enough, they were going to get married in 2020 because they want to have their careers in place and finances and all that like many couples mm -hmm. want to. But because of this, they have gotten a new appreciation for every minute, every second of life, and they've moved that up to next year instead. So I told them, call us. We want to be there. Definitely. All right. All right Thanks, Denise. Thank